is not made to go about being safe and comfortable, he is constantly being driven to do unreasonable things. Some force impels him, and go he must. H.G. Wells, author of The First Men in the Moon. To turn our back on the quest for knowledge is to perish. Frank Borman, commander of Apollo 8. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong, Apollo 11 commander, first man on the moon. Man sets off on his first journey to a specific destination in space, to a target in tranquility a quarter of a million miles away. Four, three, two, one. Zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. the command ship Columbia draws Eagle, the lunar module, from the third stage of the Saturn rocket. Armstrong and Aldrin leave the mothership to enter Eagle before it separates and starts its critical run towards the lunar surface. Apollo 11 has more impact on people's imagination than any such enterprise in man's history. Unlike so many great journeys of the past, it has been shared by millions as it happened. Some of us, fearful of its terrifying implications, others, relating technology with romance, finding a mystical, magical quality in it all. But we remember that near tragedy during training with the lunar module simulator, Ejection only fractions of a second before disaster. Forward. Forward. Pretty feet down, two and a half. We waited during the sequences of the descent and listened breathlessly to the cool, confident dialogue of man's first landfall in space. Forward, drift into the right level. Ready? Down and a half. 30 seconds. Forward, drift. Contact right. Okay, engine stopped. Roll both auto, decent engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. You're looking good here. And that's how we followed it through the immediacy of electronics. Some 600 million people, about a fifth of the world's population, shared the televigil. Long through the night, when well into the morning, we waited for the ultimate reward for Neil Armstrong to gain that first historic foothold on a new world. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Edwin Aldrin joins Armstrong. To this ball and inside of my boot. And here are the first pictures of the lunar horizon from the surface. A small fraction of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads and the fine sandy particles. Hey, this is Houston, we're copying. Animation shows more clearly the main objective, 
the collection of samples from the moon's surface may hold the answers to the evolution of the Earth and the whole solar system. The stars and stripes symbolize far more than one nation's pride. All who watched Apollo 11 must have felt this unifying sense of mankind's participation. All that training for lunar gravity is now put to the test. It's much easier to elevate yourself on the moon, but more difficult to decelerate and keep control. their footprints, which will remain undisturbed in this atmospheric void, the astronauts leave behind two scientific experiments. These will record moon quakes and constantly measure the moon's distance from Earth. This then was Moon Day, exhilarating and exhausting. The day the world acclaimed its first ambassadors to this enigmatic, seemingly unattainable lantern of the world. Thank you. 